I did the 24 hour plays two years ago and I frankly I cannot believe I've been stupid enough to come back again. It's like having your eyes shut and, and, and being pushed into a room, you know, you have really no idea what's going to happen, what to expect. It is that dream that you have, and that a lot of actors have when you walk on stage and you don't know what you're doing and it's a sort of nightmare. How am I feeling? I'm feeling inc incredibly calm. All will change tomorrow about 7.15 when I will absolutely wet my pants. When I was a stockbroker, uh, I decided that I wanted to be an actor because I was in the most boring job in the world. And they were paying me too much money, so I thought, what's the profession where you can earn as little as possible and be out of work for long periods of time and yet be happy and just being an actor? I know they're told, everybody says, 90% of actors are out of work at any one time, but you don't believe it. You think, it'll be different for me. And of course, for that one in a hundred, it will be different, one in ten, it will be different, but it can be so soul-destroying. I suppose if you were better armed with that knowledge, maybe it would be less hurtful. Well, I think the thing is, is that thing about making it, you know, uh, you know, people, young actors being told about, you know, I think they're told a lot now, you know, you're going to make it, you know, it's, you've really made it, and actually, I don't think that, that applies to any actor, whether they're really successful or... Um, you know, whatever level they're at, you know, there's always a time where you're not going to be working and I think you just have to learn to enjoy those times as much as you can even though it's really difficult. So, you know, to know that it's sometimes you're going to be working loads a lot of the time and then there's always going to be, throughout your whole career, times when you're not going to be working and just to enjoy that those times. Acting or being in this industry is about how you deal with problems and, uh, and what's the most you can make of situations that, that, that present themselves for you. You can't, you can't be King Canute, you can't make things happen, you know, so um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, a lot, it's as much to do with character uh, as it is to do with talent, I think. I think I would just say there are lots of different ways and lots of different paths. I mean, I didn't go to drama school, I started very late. You know, you never know. Those experiences you do have and you don't have are, are all going to feed into. I think the most important thing is just that the, the desire to do it. Uh, and then you need a lot of luck. I wish I'd known that people are interested in you, really. That's it. They're interested in what, who you are and what personality you have. And you get... It's easy to imagine that they want you to be like somebody else or that there's a, there's a mould, there's a, there's a format for being successful as an actor. There's something they're looking for that you have to, you have to you know, change yourself into. You don't. You just have to be yourself. I mean, it's so... It's, uh, people say all the time, just be yourself, and I don't even know what that means, but they're looking, they're looking for what you uh, and only you can give. So you've just got to work out what that is that is special about you and, uh, and trust that that will, that will interest people. I suppose to trust your own instinct about what you should be doing and what you're good at. Because you get a lot of advice and, um, and really the best person to judge what you can do is yourself really. And, I, and it's taken me a few years to sort of relax into that and realise actually I never liked doing that, I like doing this. And, and, um, and, uh, and I, I suppose I wish I'd been more aware of that at the time. So just to trust your own instincts about your own talent. Nothing is as daunting as you think it might be. And don't take everything too seriously. Just take everything in your stride and things will come to you. I wish I hadn't run head first as fast as, as I did when I was younger uh, at things and let them come to me a bit more. Don't panic is what I mean.